Hello loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be my 13th birthday haul. Before we start this video, I want to give out a disclaimer. I feel like every YouTuber does this when they film this video, but I'm going to do the same. This video is in no way, shape or form to brag or boast about everything I got. I just thought that after you post a birthday vlog, it's standard to post a haul to show what you got on that day. Some of the presents I'm going to show you were even bought with my own money and money that my family members gave me so I am not trying to brag. I was just so excited when I got all of my presents and I want you guys to share that excitement with me. So without further ado, now that that's all done, let's get into the video. The first thing I'm going to show you in this haul are new school shoes that my dad got me. And these are from the brand Tommy Hilfiger. I'll just show you a bit more up close but there is the box. Nice and simple with just the Tommy Hilfiger logo and when you open it up i did actually take this out of the box and i have been wearing this to school for the past week so i have already opened them but i just wanted to put them back in the box so that you guys could see the whole look but inside these are the shoes they are these black boots with they've got a zip on the side but then they've also got laces i think these are so so cute i absolutely love them I shouldn't really be touching the bottom of these shoes because I have worn them outside. So let me position that better. It's just got the word Tommy on the back and then it's got the red, white and blue. These shoes are absolutely adorable. I love them so much and I'm so grateful that I got them. So thank you to my dad for these new school shoes. The next few things I'm gonna show you in this haul are clothes. Now all of these clothes I did buy with my own money or money that I got for my birthday from my family. But either way, it's my money. So before you try and attack me in the comments for bragging, I did buy these with my own money. The first thing I'm going to show you is this oversized t-shirt. And I got this from H&M. I'm not going to try on all of the other t-shirts that I got. Because if this video is going to be a try on haul as well as a birthday haul, I think it's going to be way too long. I've already been filming for long enough as it is. So I think I'm just going to leave that part out. But I will show you what the top looks like and then you will be able to kind of picture it on me. But I got this oversized white t-shirt, it's a car t-shirt. I don't know what this bit says, but I know this says racer and it just looks like this. I quite like um, oversized t-shirts that I've got like a car print on them. I think it's very vintage. So I saw this oversized t-shirt and I was like, I definitely need to get that. So that is the first top that I got. The next top that I got from H&M is this oversized black Mickey t-shirt. I absolutely love this. My mum was actually the one who saw this and she said that she wanted it for herself. Thank you mum for sacrificing this for me. But this is really, really cute and I can't wait to wear it. Again, I'm not gonna try it on, but you can imagine how this would look on me. I got this in a size medium, but it's still quite oversized. I have tried it on. And then this one I also got in a medium or a large. I can't even remember. So that's this Mickey Mouse oversized black t-shirt. Last thing I got from H&M is this Argyle skirt. I actually really, really like this. This is really cute. I think this is an extra small. The colours are dark blue, baby blue and white. And it's obviously got the Argyle print on it. I think this is really, really, really cute. And I think when I get a top, I'm definitely going to get a top like this with the Argyle print to match it. So I can be in an all Argyle outfit. I definitely said Argyle 10 times in that sentence. I cannot wait to style this. It's got two slits in the front, which I didn't even realise before, but I think that's really cute. It's quite stretchy. And yeah, I am just so, so happy with this. That's all for this Argyle skirt and the last thing that I got from H&M. The next piece I'm about to show you guys is definitely... This is probably my second favourite present. I absolutely am obsessed with this. I cannot wait to wear this literally everywhere. I have been wanting this for the longest time and haven't found any nice ones in my size. But I found this in the perfect size in Bershka and this is literally the cutest thing ever. I got a varsity jacket. Varsity jacket sounds very American. I think the name for this is bomber jacket. Bomber bomber or varsity but i'm gonna call it varsity because it sounds better so i got this brown and beige varsity jacket from bershka 
it's got B on the side, like the letter B, and then in orange underneath it, it says, I don't need you, I have memes. And then on the back, it says, bad idea, let's go for it. On the sleeve here, it's got the B again, and then it says impulsive, one is in, one is normally, and then one is upside down underneath it. This is just so cool, and it's so soft, like, look at how plush it is on the inside. I wish you guys could feel the material, it's so nice, and... That's all I have to say about this. This is definitely very autumn winter and it's gonna keep me so warm so I cannot wait to wear it. This is the last clothing piece I got and I also am so in love with this. This is such a beautiful top and I cannot wait to wear it out. It's this red teddy bear sparkly t-shirt. Look at how grand this is. Like, It's very, very, very sparkly as you can see. It's red, they had them in loads of colors but I definitely thought red stood out the most to me. It's got the Avenue George V Paris on the bottom. My battery is flashing, so it's very likely that it's going to die soon. So I'm gonna have to change that and be back with you. One week later. Welcome back guys. I actually have a funny story to tell you. So I'm actually going to pop in and tell you the funny story. This is editing me speaking. I'm gonna pop in and tell you the funny story because I just ended up talking about it for way too long. But basically my camera battery died in the middle of me filming. I had to re-film it again and that also explains why the lighting has changed and the camera position is closer. I'm sorry if that bugs anyone, it bugs me too. But I still hope you enjoy the video and let's just get right back into it. This is not what I look like in real life, I promise. I do have these two balloons. Since it's a while later, they are very much deflated, so don't mind that throughout the video or the thumbnail either. So now that we've got all of that out of the way, let's get back into the video. So I remember that I left off talking about this beautiful t-shirt, red bear t-shirt that I got from a new brand called Avenue George V Paris. And their shop is actually really nice. They've got like a lot of clothes like this. They are very much like a designer dupe brand. So like they, I don't really know how to describe it other than that, but they sell a lot of clothing that looks like it could be designer clothing, but actually isn't. But this is what it looks like up close. It is extremely shiny and very, very pretty. I cannot wait to wear this. You guys don't understand. But anyway, that's all I have to say about this t-shirt and I'm so, so happy that I purchased it for my birthday. So the next thing I bought for my birthday, perfume. These are called Snow Fairy from Lush. They only come around in the winter season and like December time. I definitely recommend getting Snow Fairy because it's such an amazing long lasting body spray. This is very youthful smelling, it's really, really sweet. On the front it says Snow Fairy body spray, just the thing for fairies, pixies, imps and magical creatures of all kind who need a sugary sweet pick me up from Lush and I got two in 200 mil. I also bought these with my own money. Anyway, that's all I've got to say about these two body sprays. What I'm about to show you is the last thing in this haul that I bought myself and it is this pencil case that says Clueless on it. Let me try and zoom in. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I'm definitely going to be using the word obsessed in this video a lot. It's just this clueless pencil case um, from Skinny Dip. I am currently using it as a pencil case for school. Let me know if you want to watch in my pencil case video because I wanted to do that but I thought that the back to school season was over so no one would really be watching back to school supplies or what's in my backpack or what's in my pencil case but if you guys do still want to see that let me know in the comments. So yeah, I'm going to stop going on about it but that is the last purchase of my own and it is this clueless pencil case. Next, I'm going to show you the things that my best friend Danica got me for my birthday. She got me, first of all, this cup and it's really, really nice. It's like a metal cup and then it's got the straw, but you can also drink it without the straw because there's a hole. So it's got Mickey Mouse on it and then it's just got loads of Mickey Mouse drawings and designs and then it's got Mickey himself on the front. But it's so, so nice. You can like close it and then you can open it and that's where you can drink from or put the straw in. I am so, so happy with this. Thank you so much to Danica for buying me this. Danica also got me a Galaxy projector, which I'm going to insert an overlay clip here. 
but I am so so happy with this it just ties my entire room together and I think having a galaxy projector is such an aesthetic piece to have in your room thank you so much Danica for buying me those gifts I really really appreciate it and they are definitely one of my favorite gifts that I've gotten for my birthday this year the next gift I'm going to show you is from my aunt it's in this pink fuzzy box and obviously it's pink so I was already excited when I saw the box alone but I opened it up and I saw this a pink bracelet I'm not sure you probably can't see it that well right now but I'm gonna put some pictures and videos up on the screen now but these are absolutely beautiful they are so delicate and dainty and I just love them and it's literally pink jewelry like how cool is that she also got me a ring to go with it so again I'm not sure if you can see it on camera but that is all I've got to say about the beautiful gift that I got from my aunt. So now to talk to you guys about the charm bracelet that I've got on right now. It's gold and again, I will insert more videos on the screen, but it's gold as a different charm. So it's got a butterfly, a ladybird or bug, however you want to say it, a snake, and it's an eye, a magnet, an elephant, and then it goes back to the B. My mum got this for me from Steve Madden. This is not jewellery that is going to irritate my skin. And it's very, very cute and trendy. I really love it. I just cannot wait to be wearing all of these jewellery. And now for the grand finale of this video. So a little backstory on this. Well, not really a backstory, but I still want to explain it as it goes well with it. At the end of my birthday, when I was blowing out the candles on my cake and everyone was cheering and stuff, my parents were having like a mini playful argument about who outdid themselves more on my birthday and then my dad he went upstairs and it was this big gold box and it was very heavy when he gave it to me and then I took it out of the bag only to find out that there was a literal macbook in the bag I am still it's been almost two weeks that I've had this and been using it but I am still in shock that I've actually got it to all to myself but my dad got me a macbook pro i am literally ecstatic there are no words to describe how many emotions i was feeling when i saw this i was just so incredibly happy obviously i've been using the macbook because i've had it for almost two weeks but i wanted to put it back in the box so you guys could see the whole look when i first got it I was actually going to do a separate unboxing video on this but I was honestly just too excited that I had to open it. It's also really nice because I don't have to be confined to one space. I can edit on my bed if I want to. I'm going to open it up and show you guys and give you a sneak peek of how I set it up to. Oh, there we go. That is the MacBook inside. But this is the MacBook itself in full light. I just still can't believe that I am holding my own MacBook in my hand right now. But let me open it up and show you guys my wallpaper and everything interesting. And here is my wallpaper. It's probably not the best way to show you, but you can still see it. So in the middle, it's got my name on it with a rose icon. The wallpaper itself is so cute. I found it off of Pinterest and it's got a, it's a pink background with loads of different collage photos. So it's got a cat. It says, why am I so emotional, cute but psycho, dreaming, it be like that sometimes, and don't kill my vibe. It also says, girl boss, and I love that message. I just think the whole aesthetic of the wallpaper is so cute. It's so me because it's pink, it's neon, and it's girly. I just absolutely love it. There's the touchpad on the top, and it's got this button on the side that you can unlock with Touch ID, so I just put my finger there. I'm going to end off the video here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who contributed to making my birthday absolutely amazing. I love you all so, so much, and I, you don't understand how much I appreciate all of my gifts. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, loves.